Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with a beautiful, and I mean stunning and very rare brand, Class A diesel motor home, I should say motor coach. Guys, I've been trying to buy this thing for months now. I bought this 2008 Travel Supreme Envoy. This is the model 42DL24. I bought it from the original owner who bought this thing brand new in late 2007 spent almost a quarter of a million dollars and guys keep in mind new rv prices have doubled since then so what was two hundred fifty thousand dollars back then is close to five hundred thousand now if you bought the equivalent of this in a 2021 or 22 model guys this is a beautiful class a motor coach diesel pusher tag axle travel supreme Definitely one of the best built motor homes of the era without getting into a Prevost or a, or a Bluebird. Uh, this is all long up there with Ford Travel and Newmar and Newell. I mean, these are such beautiful coaches, guys. Very, very expensive in its day. And um, it's four slides. It's 42 and a half feet long, built on the Spartan K2 chassis with the independent front suspension. The Spartan is a very, very expensive upgrade on a Class A diesel. You know, you only see Spartans in your higher end models. They have a thicker frame than a Freightliner. They have a hydraulic radiator fan. And uh, of course I got the motor home running and I got the generator and motor running. 8KW on and generator with 300 something hours on it. Motor home's got 75,000 miles, which for anybody that knows these uh, ISL Cummins diesels, knows that's not even broken in yet, not even a concern. 400 horsepower ISL, 8.9 liter turbo diesel, 1,200 pound-feet of torque, 10,000 pound tow capacity. This is a bad boy, guys. This is a multi-stage full-body paint. It's completely smooth. You don't feel any indentions in it whatsoever. The gentleman that had this thing bought it brand new. It has been garage kept, uh, or not a garage kept, but kept under cover since he bought it new when he wasn't using it. And it looks, guys, not a speck of delamination, not a speck of fading. Um, it's from Chattanooga, Tennessee area. It's a local unit, believe it or not. This, guys, is that needle in a haystack that so many Class A shoppers are looking for. He has got a pile of service, well, it was a man and a woman, a couple. They just decided to sell it because they were just they were getting too elderly to use it. There's a pile of service records, this thick of everything he's had done to it since he took it home from the uh, since he took it home from the original dealer. Uh, it's sitting on about three-year-old Michelin tires. Still have the tabs on them. You still got a few years if you got to worry about those. Alloy wheels. Of course, roof access ladder. It's got the step ladder inside the bay. What a coach, guys. I don't get to buy them like this every day. I don't get to sell them like this every day. Slide choppers are great. Guys, look, look at the video closely. I'll be completely honest, and I'm flabbergasted about this. Not the heck of a word, flabbergasted, ain't it? <laughs> Not a word you say every day. Let's just say I'm very, very surprised. I can't find a nick, ding, dent, scratch anywhere on it. Very unusual for a 2008 model. This is the last year they built a Travel Supreme. In fact, there's no book value on it. Um, Travel Supreme just reported to the NADA until 2007, so you'd have to, you know, you'd have to be creative about a book value, but. I mean, I'm looking at 2008 Travel Supremes on the internet, priced for $200,000 plus. You know, I've got this beautiful coach for $129.9. I mean, like I said, you buy the, and they don't make them like this anymore, guys. You know, I get criticized when I say this, but newer coaches aren't built with this kind of quality anymore. Yeah, they have more technology, yeah, the newer coaches may have adaptive cruise control. They may have a 15-inch navigation screen built into the dash. But they're put together with press board and 
very low quality the paint job on this thing guys if you went and did this kind of paint job on a coach now it would be every bit of forty thousand dollars i mean these are luxury coaches in their finest slide out tray this one just slides out one way the one next to it slides out both ways got a central vacuum system filtered water dispenser got an air uh air compressor air hose built in this is your outside television got a power awning power uh door awning as well Whew, guys it we're under heat advisory today so i'm gonna go on in i have plenty of pictures on our website of this outside of this thing i don't want to spend too much time outside because it's hot um in fact we're in the 104 heat index right now and a 97 degree high so if you're coming from up north down here to the south and you're not used to these kind of high temp high humidity whoo make sure you bring uh you dress accordingly and take plenty of breaks looking at these rvs uh beautiful padded flex steel captain's uh, chairs are leather in excellent condition i mean this is like sitting in a, in an easy chair driving down the road course you know the the spartan chassis full air suspension air brakes six speed allison of course um no check engine light seventy five thousand nine eighty eight point five um let's see <laughs> it's hot pioneer cd player weldix backup camera uh got of course your flashers cruise control everything built into the dash um Man, what a coach. Windshields are perfect. These are beautiful hardwood cabinets. You've got power shades on the front. And then, you, of course, you have a curtain that goes all the way around the cab area for privacy. Ceramic tile floor all the way throughout. That's factory. And then, of course, it's got the original carpet, original ceramic tile, original furniture. This thing hasn't been messed with, guys. That's rare anymore on a 2008 model. That's the way I like to buy them too. I, I you know, I, you know, more power to those who customize RVs, but you know, people who customize RVs and change furniture out, paint walls, change colors, they, they make it work for them, but not for future owners. And it actually, a lot of times will hurt the value, especially on a high end coach like this, more than helping it. Um, I guess you'd call this a, a tray ceiling uh man that's just beautiful quality guys look at these hardwood uh look at the quality the detail the facade around the slide out um solid surface cable top countertops real ceramic tile not a single one broken guys this spartan k2 chassis is one of the most softest riding chassis you can buy um, independent front suspension so if you run one wheel uh, one of your steer tires off into a ditch you're not going to turn over as easy as you would with the one with a straight axle um, this is a little I guess storage area you can put a desk make a desk out of it work area like I said books manuals galore service records galore man the people had this thing probably no telling how many multiple probably tens of thousands of dollars they've spent in fixing stuff and maintaining this rv over the past 14 years man this is just a beautiful coach guys uh three burner stove top double basin sink look at the plumbing fixtures these aren't those cheap plastic rv ones like you see in most of them even in the higher end coaches all metal plumbing fixtures just like you put in your own house bevel glass looks great the backsplash is ceramic not that plastic stick on stuff like the new ones have um the upholstery textured upholstery that looks awesome no smoke no pad odors you've got a uh double 15,000 btu ducted roof air it's got a big tv right here and like I said, guys, yeah, this, this 2008 may not have a 75-inch smart TV and 
Wi-Fi extenders and cell phone boosters, but who cares? I'm going to take build quality over technology three to one any day of the week and consider it a bargain. I want something that's going to hold up. That technology stuff, I can add myself later on and update it as a, as a, as a change. Look at, the, look at the frames around the windows, guys. They don't do that anymore. You can buy a $400,000 brand new diesel pusher and it won't be nowhere near the quality of this one. Uh, refrigerator freezer, RV of course, 18 cubic foot. Now I've had it on for a little while. Uh, it probably hadn't got to operating temp 100%. But I mean, we're in the 60s in the fridge. And of course it will drop another about 20 to, oh that feels good. <laughs> Negative 10 degrees. Well, can I just stay here the rest of the review? <laughs> oh, that feels good. And I've got both these air conditioners, guys. It's got dual 15,000 BTU ducted roof airs. I've got a panic mode right now because it is, oh gosh, it is hot. Um, and we're, we've got good airflow. We're getting down in the low 50s. I mean, 49 and that that's good guys look at this bathroom look at this jack and jill sink you don't see this anymore guys yeah most of the time you'll see one vanity outside the one in there with the toilet but look at this guys the accent lighting the uh carved wood this is before they started putting that marble surround in the shower but look at that skylight the wood frame i mean just attention is in the details water that's a solid wood door that's not that's not a hollow door uh, of course they've got it decorated really nice magazine rack elongated rv toilet porcelain of course decorations the previous owners left they really look good does have the stack washer and dryer that's just some of your storage adjustable shelving notice the uh, hidden hinges this right here is of course where your thermostat is which took me a while to find and your slide out controls of course your motor um isl 400 cummins all the good stuff in there stack washer and dryer Whirlpool. Not that all-in-one combo thing, but an actual stack washer and dryer. And as far as washers and dryers go, these aren't that bad. I'm not a big fan of them unless you're going to be full-timing, but if you've got to have them, go with the stack. Carpet in here is beautiful. Um, original TV. Got the original bedspread. This is actually a king-size bed in the back. You've got opposing slides here, so a ton of space. And big closet in the back. Excuse the ugly guy in the mirror. I need to keep him out of the video. I want to sell it, not, not run everybody off. Um, there's your extra chairs right there for your uh, table or wherever you need them. You can actually put one of the chairs right here for your uh, little vanity or a little makeup get ready area and then you got a spot up front um, you can make into a desk if you want to for the other chair oh that air feels good Whew. guys it is miserably hot today I don't know about y'all but fall is my favorite time of year fall and early winter and I, I cannot wait in fact, I hadn't even hardly camped this year because of this heat and of course how busy we've been. I'm definitely going to be taking my RV out this fall and probably part of the winter. So, and I might even take my video camera with me, show you some of the campgrounds I like to stay at. Um, wow, man, this is a beautiful RV. <sighs> wow, this is definitely one I'd love to of course, you know, it's out of my personal price range, but but if this is in your price range, guys, this is a beautiful coach. 
like I said, you're not going to get this this kind of quality in a 2021 coach, even at three times the price. I mean, <laughs> I love it. Sleeper sofa, uh, table makes a small bed, so you can sleep technically two on the sofa, one, one to two on the table booth if they're small. You can sleep two if just an adult. You can probably sleep one. So you can sleep three to four up here, two in the back. I mean, guys, that's five to six sleeping capacity, depending on the size. I love this coach, guys. This is one of my favorite diesels I've shot in a long, long time. I just, I love that brand. You know, this is not a mass-produced brand like Monaco or Holiday Rambler or uh, Thor Tuscany or a... Um, uh, sport coach or something like that you know travel supreme was up there like i said with four travel and newmar and uh with the more expensive newmars the top of the line newmars i should say and they were up there with uh even the newell coaches as far as quality back in this time period around 2008 um right before the recession put a lot of people out of business because during the recession, guys, you know, the, the cheaper coaches survived a lot better than these higher end coaches did because more people were interested in the cheaper stuff than the high quality stuff. Here's the thing, guys, you take care of this coach. And I truly mean this from many years of experience, guys. This thing, if you take care of it, you know, do the maintenance like you're supposed to, like the previous owner did, took care of it like the previous owner did, this thing will last you from as long as you want to keep it. It'll outlast a brand new 2021 by years i mean basically guys you can two two people can buy this one can buy this another one can buy a new 2021 uh luxury motor home and let me tell you something guys that 2021 will be in the junk car and this thing will still be on the road this is a pre-def motor no diesel exhaust fluid that shortens engine life this is that's very desirable you know all the newer diesel coaches even the high-end holiday rambler navigators that are well over four hundred thousand dollars new have a 360 horse cummins with death fluid it's a 400 horse 1200 pound feet of torque this motor home will take you down the road faster than you ever want to go when the rooms are in you still have plenty of room to slide down the middle to walk through the middle uh, you can still get on your bed. You can still get to your bathroom. Um, you know, you'll lose, you know, you won't be able to see your TV unless you open that blind on that window. And you can see part of it. But uh, it just takes a few minutes to put these out. These aren't these darn dual electric slide outs like all the newer coaches have. These are hydraulic slides. The best. The ones that don't tear up as often. You got hydraulic leveling jacks. I mean, solid wood construction. This is a heavy, heavy, heavy motor home. He weighed this thing, and it's right about 34,000, 33 to 34,000 pounds, depending on how he loaded it. That's a heavy motor home, guys. But, you know, it's like I say with, with fifth wheels. Heavier they are, the better they're built. Um, if this is something you think you're interested, guys, in, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Air conditioners are cold, slide outs work, refrigerator's cold, it's ready to go, guys. Come pay for it. You can check it out any way you want to, but this thing's ready to go. You come in, pay for it, you take it home the same day. I pretty much checked everything out on it for you. Um, it's just an amazing coach, guys. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say I've checked everything, but the stuff that we guarantee the major stuff like the refrigerator freezer the slide outs the generator the roof airs all that works just like it's supposed to drives like a dream you know these old big heavy coaches like this just ride unlike anything else on the road it's like driving it's a it's an rv that drives more like a lincoln town car and uh the power is very impressive i test drove it before we finalized the deal this has been several months buying this rv gentleman changed his mind a handful of times his wife talked him out of it they finally decided they didn't want it to sit anymore they wanted somebody to get it and enjoy it they babied this thing its whole life you can tell it low mile i mean low miles for the year 
and just if you you could spend two hours going through those service records guys you won't be a you'd be a every little thing on this thing that ever went wrong he had fixed and had it fixed immediately this this is the kind of rv owner that you want to buy a rv from uh, kept undercover kept it you know out of in storage he kept it in covered storage um when he wasn't using it i mean this thing is just beautiful coach guys and he didn't spare any expense to keep it this way um if this is something you think you're interested in guys you know you can email us if you want but i highly recommend calling right now well if we're open 706-965-7929 call between monday through friday 9 a.m to 6 p.m eastern time saturday 9 to 5 wow um nicest diesel in a lot and it's not even the most expensive diesel i have but it's definitely the nicest i mean this is my pick of any diesel pusher on the lot right now if it is in your price range now a lot of people want to spend 50 grand or 40 grand they don't want to buy this of course i have motorhomes and diesels in your price range guys go to my guys i'm sorry about that my phone was blowing up off the hook i'm playing sales manager today um I got a guy out, so I am uh, had to run up front and help the guys with the deal. So anyway, of course, I just came back to close this video out. So I didn't just end it abruptly. But guys, check out this beautiful Travel Supreme, guys. It's 2008. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's clean. You don't see motorhomes like this hit the market every day. And I know this may not be in your particular price range. And like I said earlier, go to my website. You can see what units I have that are in your uh, personal price range. But... If you can buy, if you, this is in your particular price range, guys, it's a deal. Come out and look at it. Call before coming to look. Honestly, I would probably consider leaving a deposit if I was traveling a long distance to look at this. Um, my guys are already calling people who left their numbers to contact if we did get something like this in, and they're already expressing interest and waiting on this video to come out. So this thing may not even be here 24 hours from now. Um, so don't don't assume anything in the current market, guys. Always call to verify it's available for coming down. You know this thing is is it's it's on the market until somebody puts money down on it or pays for it, one or the other. Thank y'all for watching. Again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to comment, share on social media, smash me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned, guys. We, uh, like I said, I'll probably do some more videos tomorrow, but uh, hopefully this will get you by for tonight. And thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.